Carter. And I'm Skyler. And this is the news for the week of August 28th. For lunch this week, today will be a pulled pork sandwich or hot ham and cheese. Tuesday will be Mexican chicken or chicken cheese quesadilla. Wednesday will be corn dog or chicken tenders. Thursday will be chicken alfredo or map sticks. And Friday will be cheeseburger and fries. Students received their yearbooks last Wednesday, and they were also given the opportunity to purchase one if they were not able to last year. The signature section proved to be a big hit with the students as pens and pencils alike were passed around from hand to hand. A lot of the credit goes to our new journalism teacher, Mr. Griffith, for organizing the yearbook and Ms. Hendrick for assisting in the layout. Uh, not only was I a first year teacher last year, but that was my first time ever doing a yearbook. Uh, I don't even think I bought my own yearbooks when I was in high school, so uh, I had very little background knowledge. I just knew that I was supposed to put pictures in it. Monday of next week will be Labor Day, so do not come to school. I repeat, do not come to school. Nobody will be here. Auditions for the fall play will be Wednesday from 3.30 to 5. The drama department will be doing something new this year. Instead of one big play, there will be two one acts, or two small plays with an intermission between them. The first is the Thespian Festival competition piece, and the other is a Charlie Brown Christmas. Students will not need to have anything prepared in order to audition for Charlie Brown. Just have a good attitude and be ready to have fun. If you're interested, see Mr. Garten for more details. Aloha. Tomorrow the volleyball team will take on Harrison at 5 o'clock. The theme for the student section is Hawaiian, so grab your lay and flower print shirt and cheer on Our Lady Lions. This Friday, Grab It will go against Enola in our second home football game. The game starts at 7, so make sure to wear your Barbie-inspired outfit and cheer our team to victory. You may or may not know, but Hack, the website that students use to view their grades and transcripts, has a new URL this year. The new link will be in the description below. We have so many new teachers joining our Gravit family this year, so starting today, we will have a new Meet the Teacher segment each week. Let's go to Cole to find out more. There have been rumors that there are some new teachers here at Gravit High School, so let's go see if we can meet one. Oh, I'm Ms. Miller, and I teach freshman and um, junior English. Before coming to Gravit, Ms. Miller was in Louisiana teaching grades 6 and 8. Ms. Miller decided to come to Gravit on one big reason. I just felt like I could have just e as easily been hanging out in the teacher's lounge talking to my friends. I felt so welcome. I felt like so accepted and that I just didn't have to strive to prove who I was or what my worth was. They could see it and I felt very appreciated and like they wanted me to be here. Ms. Miller's big goal for teaching is to be able to have her students enjoy reading. Outside of school, Ms. Miller and her family love to be outdoors, cook, and love football, even going as far as having their own family fantasy football league. And our draft is August 31st, and we actually have a trophy and everything, and it's very, very competitive. Ms. Miller is Gravit High School's newest English teacher. Make sure to drop on by and say hello. We're all super excited to have Ms. Miller as part of our Gravit High School staff and community. Thank you, Cole. Last week, we asked you if you had tried the new Lion Pride Station at lunch. According to our survey, out of the 154 who responded, 111 of you said that you haven't. There are so many options to choose from, including a cool spinny pizza thing. Make sure to try it next time you see an option you like. For this week's survey, we want to know, what's your favorite fall sport? Well, that's everything for us. I'm Skylar. And I'm Carter. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next, next week. week. Please do not ever speak to me in that tone <laughs> any.